Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away. And you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. For this video, I'm going to introduce three characters, and I just really hope that I make this video worth it on your guys' behalf compared to last Wednesday, you know? Here's the first character, and I hope it's comprehensible for you guys. Dragoness. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight varied. Status, hero, and ally of Dragonoid, who's basically a human-dragon hybrid. Base, Alter, Dimension, Mobile, Intelligence, Three Brains, Behavior, Loving and Willful, She'll Do Anything to Feel Beautiful, Lethality, Highly Deadly to Most Opponents, Weaknesses, Misogyny, She's Also Cold-Blooded, Powers, She Has Sharp Claws and Teeth, Tough Scales, Mass Alteration, A Long Swatting Tail, Possesses a Breath Organ that allows him a bunch of different breath-based capabilities, and can sprout a pair of large wings for flight. If she travels in space, she can hold her breath for months. She can also speak English. Eyes, reddish pink. Hair, long skull spikes. Origin. One time, Galactica, who is the Alter Dimensions heroic equivalent of Gigantica, decided to create a weapon against her arch-enemy Stratogirl that's literally cold-blooded. She got an iguana egg, mutated it with lab equipment, and made it hatch into a large female dragon. Being named Dragoness, she was commanded by her creator to help her first allies with a fight against Stratogirl and her creations. After gaining self-esteem, Dragoness eventually decided to go mobile and soon discovered the existence of other dimensions. Since then, Dragoness would do all that's needed to save all innocents in every reality, and she nowadays is a good ally with Dragonoid. G 
just so you know, Gigantica is the founder and CEO of Zealotech Labs, which is a weapons company that builds futuristic weapons like that rivals Blader Tech Industries. Just so you know, costume. She's coated with tough green scales. Team Solitary with Dragonoid and other heroes. Ordinal Inspiration, Dragons and Beauty. Here is the next character. Just so you know, Commander. Real name, Commanderette Kendra Warrens. Height 100 feet, weight 65 tons. Status villain and team muscle member. Base Alpha Earth Mobile. Intelligence 3.5 brains. Behavior. Tough and willful. She'll do anything to destroy everything. Lethality. Highly deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. She has bad anger issues. Powers. She's one of the strongest villains in the multiverse. She wields an arsenal of weapons designed for her to use. She also possesses a strong healing factor. Eyes deep brown, hair reddish black, and spiky. Origin. Since childhood, Kendra Warren's had a bad intolerance of heroes because she doesn't think the punishments on villains were proper. During her time as an army commanderette for the U.S. of the Alpha Earth, Kendra commanded Olga to infuse her with the strength of almost all life in the multiverse. In the process, she was permanently 100 feet tall and bulging with muscles. Eventually, Commander successfully defeated the Alpha Trio. But when another hyper-powerful uh, hero known as Abs showed up to stop her, Kendra learned that Abs is a challenge on her behalf. After a long fight, Abs defeated Commander and transported her via portal to an asteroid in the Kuiper Belt. After a while of loneliness, Kendra developed a stronger intolerance for heroes, and yet she was hired by Abs as a new member of Team Muscle, though she secretly wishes mutiny on them. Costume. She wears a camouflage top with matching shorts. Team Solitary with Team Muscle and others. Orgel Inspiration. DC's The General. Here's the last character, just so you know. And I hope I'm being worth it for you guys. Mighty Hawk. Real name, Saturna, formerly. Height, 5 feet 10 inches to 575 feet. Weight, 145 pounds to 100,050 tons. Status, hero and Comanche warrior. Base, North American continent. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty, confident, and warlike. She's determined to avenge her tribe. Lethality, only to those that are evil and selfish. Weaknesses, bad memories and being rivaled. Powers, she has the strength of a hundred bison, the speed of fifty deer, and the flight of twenty bald eagles. She can command any variety of wild animals. Her arsenal includes a bow that never breaks, a spear that never snaps, an oversized tomahawk that never dulls, and a quiver that never empties. She also has martial arts, a strong healing factor, can expand to great heights, slowed aging, and can do a frightening battle cry that can be heard across a continent. Eyes deep purple, hair deep black. Origin. Mighty Hawk was the daughter of the chief of a Comanche tribe during the time of the Wild West. On her 16th birthday, a group of cavalrymen attacked and killed her tribe, and she later experienced the death of her father. While weeping in the ruins, Mighty Hawk saw a purple glowing spirit that looked like her wearing space clothes, learning that she's the reincarnation of Saturna, the dead ruler of the moons of Saturn. Mighty Hawk was explained that the time has come for her to use her knowledge and integrity to protect not only her land, but those with a pure heart. And Saturna got projected inside of her, granting her with great abilities to use in life. First, Mighty Hawk avenged the death of her people by destroying the cavalry men, and later got transported to the modern age, where she became an ally for the Star Spangler and Lady Liberty. Just so you know, Star Spangler is the, uh, the World War II hero for the Devault Earth. Forever becoming a new member of a hero team known simply as the Patriots Three.
Costume. She wears the traditional Comanche clothing. Team Solitary with the Patriots 3 and other heroes. Source of inspiration, Native American warriors. I just really hope I was comprehensible for you guys. You know? And of course, um, of course, next week on Saturday is the uh, wedding anniversary celebration, which, just to remind you guys about it, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Yeah. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such. Until next time, in transmission.